Okay, good afternoon. My name is Sergeant Carly Hose. I'm the PIO with the Washington County Sheriff's Office. Before we get started, just a couple of housekeeping items. We are on live stream within this room. The sound system will pick up any noises and whatnot, so if we can try to keep the noise in the gallery to a minimum, that's much appreciated. I am now gonna bring up uh, Sheriff Brian Albert. Thanks for being here today. Uh, just a prepared statement we'll read and then I'll take a few questions. Uh, the Washington County community can breathe a little easier this afternoon. Murder suspect Pedro Argate was located deceased. Uh, this morning, Maryland State Police, with other, along with other resources, were conducting an expanded systematic searches and in a heavily wooded area between Clear Spring Road and Bottom Road, uh, <clears throat> approximately one mile northwest from where the suspect's vehicle was located, Argate was found deceased. His remains will be transported to the officer of the medical examiner in Baltimore for autopsy. Until the autopsy is complete, we will not be able to answer questions surrounding his cause or time of death. Uh, I'd like to thank my personnel for their tireless work and dedication during this investigation. Most of us have not slept a good night's sleep since, uh, since last Thursday. <clears throat> uh, the Sheriff's Office would also like to extend our gratitude to the following agencies and partners with their help during this investigation. There is no way we could have uh, conducted this with, uh, without their assistance. Uh, the Maryland State Police, Natural Resource Police, Maryland Transporta Transportation Authority Police, Hagerstown Police Department, Frederick County Sheriff's Office, Frederick County Police, Western Maryland Regional Crime Lab, Lexus Nexus, uh, Homeland Security Investigations, uh, FBI Behavior Analyst Unit, U.S. Marshals Regional Task Force, and Hagerstown City Police. Uh, uh, thank you to the Washington County community for your support through this uh, tough time for the last week, and we continue to keep the family of Judge Wilkinson in our thoughts during this most difficult time. I'll take a few questions. Yes, sir. Well, it's, a, it's relief, but it's still a tragedy that we're dealing with. Uh, most of us up here, we, we just came from uh, Judge Wilkinson's viewing, met with the family. They were very appreciative. You know, it brings a little bit of closure to them, but it, it's still a tragedy. They lost a husband, a father, and a brother. So kind of a somber moment for us. Had that area been previously searched and did you find a weapon with it? Uh, we can't comment on the investigation right now. And... Uh, we, we hastily searched that area, but uh, we, you know, we were just going over it systematically today. Uh, Brian, can you say uh, definitively if the stress and the anxiety should be over for the larger community at this point? It, it definitely should be lowered. Uh, you know, obviously we have a funeral tomorrow that we, uh, we have security set up for, and, we, you know, everybody should feel a, a, a little, sleep a little bit better tonight. Well, as, as we mentioned, we, we, uh, you know, it's an ongoing investigation. We, uh, we'll release those details as they come available, but, you know, we're pretty sure that, that uh, you know, obviously we got our guy. Was there a prior threat to the judge by this man? Not to our knowledge, no. What was that area doing? Uh, just the area, it, it's just a systematic uh, in search management, the way uh, the Maryland State Police, Natural Resource Police, their whole team, that uh, Maryland Transportation Authority, they have a team that goes in and does evidence search, and we felt that it was, you know, it was time to do that. Uh, and, you know, our partners offered it up, Maryland State Police, yesterday, and we was more than welcome to take the, take the help. And how would you characterize that? Is that like a gridded-type search? It can be. There's different, different ways to do it, but the grid search would be the most, uh, most knowledgeable to the public. Yeah, I'm sure we've taken precautions here in Washington County. Other counties I know have changed some protocol that they're doing. I don't, I don't want to speak on how they're doing things, but I, I'm sure we're going to have discussions in the future on how to protect the judges a little bit better than currently. Sir, what type of uh, protocols are in place right now when you're ahead of whatever you have happening? Or... On the judges or? 
Uh, well, we, we always have security in the courtroom. So, and then also we've added some security throughout the community for them. I, I don't really want to go into details how we're, uh, how we're doing that. So, and one last question, please. When you inform the judge's uh, surviving family, could you characterize their reactions at this point? Uh, I think that relieved would be the thing that uh, I would, it, you know, explain it as. She, you know, the family was relieved that uh, we brought this to a little bit of closure. So. That concludes um, today's press conference. I want to thank you all for coming out. Uh, if we do have additional information that needs to be released, we will do so in the form of a press release. Thank you.